And um, I want to show you one other thing here. Good. And uh, let's see. What I need to do is um, I was going to bring some gloves because I'm going to open this up and we're going to see what's inside. All right. Now, according to the theory I'm operating under, there should be something very interesting in this, and it should have, it should have ears sticking up, and we're going to see if we get ears in it or not. And I am disappointed as I see that what is inside this can is soup, regular soup. I don't think I can show this on the camera. Do you believe me? <laughs> can I show this on the camera? I can't show it. No, they can't see it. Don't have the right angle. But it really is soup. Just like the can says, it is not a rabbit that I can pull out of here. I'm disappointed. <laughs> you are you absolutely useless.
Now, I showed you this empty box here a few minutes ago. Now, it was empty for at first. It was empty when we checked it again, and it's empty again now. Okay, you can see that. Why would this box still be empty? If we took this box and put it up in an attic and left it there for 50 years, and let's say there's no spiders, ants, rodents, or moths or anything, okay, just a cool, dry place. We put it in an attic, and then 50 years later, we pulled it down, dusted it off, and opened it up. What should be inside? Scientifically speaking, nothing should be inside, right? Because we know that in science, every action has an equal and opposite reaction, right? Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. This is one of the laws of science. That is also to say that something from nothing for no reason is inherently unscientific. Okay? So if we had had this box and put it in an attic for 50 years, what are the chances that, scientifically speaking, that a little bang would have happened inside this box? That would be unscientific, right? Something from nothing for no reason is inherently unscientific, right? That's what I would contend. So the Big Bang, uh, we have to ask the question then, is the Big Bang a scientific theory or is it a religious belief? Is it one that tries to deny the existence of our Creator? Now, a person saying that God caused the Big Bang, that's something very different because that then has an external origin or, or that there are forces acted on the universe, created the universe, put all of the laws in place that we see, and then that uh, now we, we, we see these laws, we don't, maybe we don't see the law giver, but yet the laws are in place. Logically, then we could say someone must have put all of this organization into, into effect. <laughs> yeah. Well, Simon, uh, any comments? But what am I supposed to say?